In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a site on a Ubuntu-based server running Apache. Um, in addition to the server, the other thing you're going to need is a domain name that you want to use for your site. Uh, in my example, I'm going to be setting up actually a subdomain. So I'm going to set up demo.codewithsusan.com, and that's going to point to my site. Um, but the procedures that I'll be showing, you could do it with a subdomain, or you could just do it with a primary domain. Uh, the procedures are going to be the same. Step one to get things set up is you need to configure your domain so it's going to point to your server. In order to do this, you need to log into your domain provider's control panel, find your domain, and find your DNS settings for that domain. As an example, I've got Namecheap open. This is the domain name uh, provider that I use, and I'm looking at my DNS settings for the domain that I'm going to be using, codewithsusan.com. And I went ahead and set this up before the video just because sometimes it takes a little bit for DNS settings to propagate. So I wanted to make sure it would, uh, would work here in the video. Uh, but here's what I set up and here's what you'll want to set on your uh, end. You want to create a, a record and you want this A record to point to the IP address of your server. Now in my case, because I'm using a subdomain, the host value that I used for this was demo. That's going to make it so that if I go to demo, dot code with Susan .com, it's going to point to this IP address. If I wasn't using a subdomain, let's say I just wanted it to be code with Susan .com, then the value I would use for host is an at sign uh, and that'll just make it applied to the primary domain. You can actually see an example of this above. This is the main A record I have for this domain and it's pointing to a different server, uh, but this is similar to what, uh, what it would look like on your end, like I said, if you were using just a primary domain. Uh, but regardless, uh, the main idea here is just creating an A record and making sure that it's pointing to your server's IP address. Once you've added your new record, give it a few minutes to take effect and then to test it out uh, in command line, you could use the ping command and just ping the domain that you just set up. So in my case, I'm going to ping demo code with Susan.com and just confirm that I'm seeing the correct IP address being returned here. It looks like that's that's good. Now that the domain is set up, I'm going to log into my server. And the first thing I need to do is create a directory where I'm going to put all of my files for this site. And typically our site directories on an Apache-based server are found within the var www directory. So I'm going to move into there. And then I will use the make dir command to create a new directory. And I like to name my site directories after the domain that is running the site. So in this case, I'm just going to call it demo code with Susan.com. Next, let's create an index file for this site. So I'll move into that new directory and I'll just quickly create this using nano. So I'm going to create an index.html file and then I'll just throw some sample content in there. Of course, all of this stuff is things you'll come back later and edit as you develop your site. You'll add new files or change the content. Right now, we're just trying to get the site to actually load in the browser. So I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm going to save my changes. Next up, we need to configure the site on the server. And where we're going to do that, we're going to go into the ETC Apache 2 sites available directory. And then within here, we want to create a new file named after the site that we're configuring. So in my case, that's demo code with Susan.com. And then we're going to end this configuration file with a .conf uh, extension. For the configuration code that we need to put in here, let's go to the notes. I've got some boilerplate Apache configs we can use. This is under step three, configuring the site. I'm going to copy this block here. And the things that you're going to want to change in here are going to be the value for the server admin. Change this to whatever email address you want to associate with the server. You also want to change the document route. So you want to point to that directory we created a moment ago. Um, so just update this to whatever directory name that you created. You'll do the same thing for this uh, directory option here. In short, what these configurations are doing is it's saying that for the site that we're configuring, we want the document route for this site to be this directory. So in other words, any incoming traffic to this site should be serving files from this particular directory. Following that, this directory block is just setting some configurations for that directory. And then uh, we have two lines that to specify some log paths. So any errors for the site will be written to this uh, particular log file. And then access information, uh, in other words, uh, information about incoming requests to the site can be logged here. Finally, this block is specifying what file should be looked for by default when we access the site or subdirectories within the site. So in other words, when we go to the site, it's going to be looking for files in this directory. And the first thing it's going to look for is an index file. 
uh, specifically an index.html file. And if it can't find that, it will also attempt to look for an index.php file. All right, now these are all very common settings for an Apache site. If you want to dig more into the details of this or start to customize this, I will have a link in the notes with some uh, points of reference where you can learn more about these settings. Uh, but let's proceed forward. I'm going to save my changes. So to do that in Nano, I'm going to do Control X, type the letter Y, and then hit Enter. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to actually activate that configuration. And I'm going to do that with a command called A2 Enable Site or EN Site. And then I'll just uh, specify the uh, name of the configuration file that I just created. The other thing I need to do, if we look at the directory contents of the sites available, you should see this default configuration that your server came with. We want to disable that. Uh, if we don't disable that, any individual configurations we make won't take effect. To disable it, we will run the command a 2 dis site. That's short for disable site. And then we'll just specify the name of that default config file. And then finally, we need to restart Apache for these changes to take effect. So uh, using this command they give us here, we can do that. And then we can test it. So going back to the browser, I'm gonna go to demo code with Susan.com. And perfect, there is that original index content that I had set up. So all in all, pretty straightforward process, just took a few steps to get it set up. And you can repeat those same steps and host multiple different sites with different uh, URLs from the same server.